letting this dry, getting some photos of it in the more natural light over by my window there, uh, when I noticed that this canvas has a hole in it. Um, not a big one, but it does have a small tear. Let me see if I can bring it up. See it there? Yeah, you can see the light flashing through right there. So what I'm going to do right now is fix the canvas, and I thought this might be an interesting video for any of you who might be a little nervous about what do you do with your canvas tears. So it's the uh, process I use is pretty straightforward. I'm not 100% sure if it's like uh, archival quality. In fact, I'm sure it's probably not really, but I think Mod Podge is pretty good stuff. And, um, you know, it lasts a long time. It's designed to last a long time, so to last well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Mod Podge. I am going to cut a small patch at running low, but this is canvas that comes in a pad, actually. I love this stuff. Um, it's great for making envelopes, too, for like my little handmade journals that I do and whatnot. Um, it, it makes a really, really classy looking envelope, actually. So anyhow, um, I am going to just cut off a small, small piece of this. Right from the back, you can tear, you see where it is right here. Where, uh, oh, you can't see where it is because it's off camera. See that little dark spot right down there is where the, um, is where the tear is. It's on the other side. So I think, uh, we don't need very much. We just have a very small patch to do with. And when we're done, it should be pretty invisible. So let's just go get ourselves a, we'll go with a, like a two by two inch square. We, we don't want to be stingy either. Um, we want to be pretty, pretty generous with it. I'm going to take the unsized, so this you see one side is more white and the other side is, you can't really tell on this light, but um, this side has gesso on it. It's a little brighter white and this is more of a buff, natural, unbleached canvas color. So I'm going to apply the Mod Podge to both the back of the canvas and to the back of this little patch that I've made. So where do I have a glue brush? Here we go. Here's one that will do. Um, pretty straightforward. I'm just going to, and I'm going to be pretty generous with this. Um, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're not, you'll get um, bare patches, you see, as you, uh, as you go on. And you really want to get a good seal. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do. And just to make sure it sticks really well, I'm going to just go right here and just lather this up with a little bit of Mod Podge as well so that it's sort of prepared to take the patch. I'm really sure I've got that entire area covered and then some, getting the patch. There we go. I'm just going to tear that. That's adhering nice and flat. So that's good. I'm going to put this immediately in my soapy water over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around and just make sure that the ripped edges are nice and flat. Um, so you can see it's now showing up as a little white spot here on the canvas. So I'm just going to press it from both sides and any uh, extra glue that comes through, I'm just going to take it off with my finger. Um, it will dry clear, so it's it's not that big of a deal. But you know, right here we're on the edge that's against the stretcher bar. You saw that was very close to the stretcher bar. And there we go. Now I'll just put a little paint over that, and that should be basically um, invisible when the repair is finished. Uh, it's already a heavily textured canvas, so it really won't be noticeable at all by comparison to the rest of the painting. Um, yeah, so quick and easy canvas repair. Not sure, if, again, if anybody has uh, knows better than me and can recommend a better adhesive to use when doing a canvas repair. I am always open to suggestion. In fact, I'd appreciate it. Um, maybe I could just do some research and and see, but this seems to work pretty well, and I think it'll, you know, it's not going to 
it's not even going to show on the outside of the canvas, so I, I'm not, I'm really not so very worried about it. Um, this is a good opportunity now that I have it open to paint the bottom of the canvas as well. So I'll be back, um, maybe with a little finishing up video later on today. All right, bye.